People in general deserve a second chance. To give a person that's been through what I've been through an opportunity to work here. You know, because with my background, I've been other places and I didn't make it. So it means a lot. I've always, I've always believed that people deserve second chances because people have to go somewhere. So we hire returning citizens because they have to have jobs or they will go back to jail. So Mark, Brian, and Scott were three of our first hires that came from the Whitman Walker Clinic down the street, which has a drug rehab program. Before I started working for the hardware stores, um, it, it was pretty rough. Um, I had just gotten out of um, seven months of inpatient and it, from uh, alcohol, crystal meth, and um, various drug addiction. I didn't know anything about Whitman Walker. I didn't know anything about um, their past. I didn't think it was any of my business. Um, my husband and I never thought that anyone's past was any of our business, with the exception of, have you done something that might help you with this job? A friend had invited me to help them unload the truck. Um, and sort of, I guess it was kind of like an interview whether or not I could work here. And I got to meet um, Gina. He came to me and he said, I need a job. And I said, and he said, I'm, I've been clean. I think he said six months. And I said, well, Mark, at the end of the day, if, you're, if you can help us unload this truck, and at the end of the day, you're still smiling, we can talk about you having a job. We unloaded the truck, and at the end of the day, he was you know, super gregarious. And uh, we sat down and we said, I think this might be a good fit for you. And so Mark started working on my team. I started out uh, you know, one day a week, and now 14 years later, I am managing the inventory for all 11 of Gina's stores. He's now one of the leaders on my team. He runs inventory for the entire company. I literally do not know what I would do without him. During this time period, um, I got to um, bury my dad. And he got to see me sober and clean. The store environment that Gina has created is probably be best defined as open and trusting. Um, it's not as much of a business focus, but it, almost a lifestyle. Be active in, in our neighborhood, in our communities. Uh, primarily, I think the, the biggest focus is that it's just, we trust people. Now, by the time I got to Ace Hardware, I've had at least a year and a half, two years clean already. So this is like my third year clean. By Gina allowing other people to come in and work for her and give these second chances to people, she is building a better sense of community. A job is what stops crime. A job is what changes a person's life. A job is what gets a child fed.